Greetings YouTubers, it's Rick the Tech Enthusiast here, and I'm showing you my porch lantern that I recently fixed and is still working. However, here's the same type of light on the left side of my garage, and it's gone out too. So let's fix it. Alrighty, here's another Costco LED lantern. And the first step we need to do is to remove the two screws that hold the glass diffuser. Once they are removed, the top section easily lifts off. I'll just remove the diffuser out of the way so we can work on the light. Now we can see the LED ring, which is screwed onto the reflector that also acts as a heat sink. There are three screws that need to be removed. So let's do that next. Once they are removed, the LED and reflector come off as a single unit and they are connected by a quick disconnect. By pressing the release tab, they should unplug easily and we'll just move this off to the side. Okay, here's a close-up of the conductors. The photo sensor or photo cell is to the right and has already been disconnected. I have a timer that runs on and off the lights so I don't need a photo sensor. The constant current driver is in the middle. There are two screws that hold the driver in place. Then there are the wire nuts for the main and the neutral. I'll start by removing the two screws to hold the constant current driver. Once it's free, we'll just need to remove the two wire nuts and the electrical tape. Take note of the three neutral wires that were connected together. Remove the nut and separate the wires. Now the old constant current driver is free. We'll move it off to the side, but we'll need the quick disconnect for the new driver. Here's the original constant current driver. And in the box, there's a new constant current driver. Let's remove it out of the box. When the last LED lantern went out, I went ahead and purchased a few replacement drivers for the three lights. The original constant current driver provided a constant current of 350 milliamps, as does the replacement driver. The output range is 18 to 38 volts. The new one is 12 to 48 volts. And the original output was 12 watts. The new one is 16 watts. This is greater than the original without changing the constant current value. The two left set of wires are the line in with the blue wire to be connected to the neutral, the white wire, and the brown wire connected to the house power or the black wire. The output are wires to be connected to the LED. So we'll have to remove the quick disconnect from the original and attach them to the new driver. Okay, let's put this together. First, I'll cut off the original disconnect leaving plenty of wire for me to attach them to the new driver. We don't need the old one, so basically it gets thrown away. Oh, in case you want to see a close up of the original constant current driver. Okay, we need to strip the ends off the quick disconnect wires. We need enough wire to wire nut them together with the new driver. Twist the two red wires together and twist on the new wire nut. Then twist together the yellow and the black output wire and twist on another new wire nut. 
Again, the blue wire is connected to the white wires. Twist them together. Oh, it's a little short. Let's strip a little more off so they can twist together more easily. I'll do the same for both. Try it again. Then twist the wire nut on. Repeat for the brown and black house power wire. Since I'm not using the photo cell, the red and black wires remain disconnected. Next, I'll add some electrical tape around the line wires and the wire nuts. It isn't really required, but it may keep the wire nut from accidentally twisting off. Now we just need to mount the new driver. Since the existing screw position won't work with the new driver, I'll use a zip tie that has a mounting hole and a M3 by 9 mm Allen screw and a small washer. At first, I thought the screw was going to be a little too short, but later I realized the screw post in the lantern lid extends a little into the zip tie mounting hole so everything worked out just right. The zip tie mounting hole needs to be near the lantern's body. Of course, I probably should have done this around the driver, but visually it's easier to see this way. This zip tie cannot be undone, so I must feed the conductor on the other end to get it around the new driver. Once I have it in position where I want it, the slack is zipped up nice and tight. and the extra snipped off. Now it's a matter of using the new screw to secure it in place. Once that's done, tuck the conductors in the housing and join the two parts of the LED and reflector units quick connector. Now align the reflector holes, careful not to pinch any of the conductors, and replace the three screws. Lastly, reattach the lantern's diffuser. Make sure you align the holes properly. Excellent! We have a fully assembled lantern again. Note that my photo sensor remains but it is disconnected. After I reinstall the lantern, you can see it's working normal again. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this video. If so, give it a big thumbs up. And if you want to see more of my videos, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Good luck with your repair project and thanks for watching.